Now happening today, a vaccine mandate for federal workers kicks in, affecting thousands of TSA personnel. Now it comes as the Thanksgiving travel rush is on, with millions of Americans crowding airports and hitting the roads in what's expected to be the biggest holiday travel period since the start of the pandemic. CBS News' John Diaz joins us live from JFK Airport this morning with more. John? Chris and Mary, while there is concern that the TSA could struggle to remain fully staffed during this holiday travel rush, TSA reps, they are remaining confident today that they are ready, they are prepared, and that will not be the case. With holiday greetings now on its way, so is the gridlock. A TSA spokesperson tweeting over the weekend, it screened more than 2 million people on Saturday for the third consecutive day, saying the last time they screened that many people in three or more days was in the summer. One of those travelers this weekend, Andrea Julian, who was visiting her dad in New York for the holidays. She saw plenty of long lines through security. I always anticipate there would be a little bit because of the holiday season. The wait may get even longer as the new vaccine mandate for federal workers kicks in today, impacting TSA workers. I guess it would make me leave a little bit earlier for the airport, right? Yeah, I don't know. I guess I, I, I assume a lot of most people are who are working in this kind of industry are vaccinated. This says nationwide, new COVID cases are up nearly 54% in the last month. Michigan, Minnesota, North Dakota, and Wisconsin are among the hardest hit states. A TSA spokesperson would not give us a figure, only saying the compliance rate is very high. And in October, 60% of workers got at least one shot. There is the potential if you uh, do not have an approved exemption and you are not vaccinated, that you will lose your job. The TSA administrator was asked about how it will deal with employees not vaccinated. We will go through a progressive discipline process with our employees who uh, have not been vaccinated, but we have a lot of employees who've asked for either medical or religious exemptions as well. And so we'll go through uh, the process of looking at each one of those individual cases and make a determination over the next several weeks. This comes as AAA predicts Thanksgiving travel overall will rebound to near pre-pandemic levels with more than 53 million Americans traveling. Well, the TSA says that it's going to be prepared, um, so we have to take them at their word. Uh, many airlines are paying uh, overtime for uh, or bonuses for employees to work during the Thanksgiving holiday. But Robert Sinclair with AAA says the majority of those traveling will be driving 90 percent. He believes the eastbound lanes of the Long Island and Expressway will be the most congested Thanksgiving Eve. From 2.30 to 6.30 Wednesday, the day before the holiday, we are anticipating a 480% increase in traffic volumes. Now, the TSA anticipates that the highest number of air travelers will be the Sunday after Thanksgiving, everyone returning back home after the holiday. We're live this morning from Kennedy Airport. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Okay, John, thank you.